Hello, I'm Eileen Corcoran, Director of Service and Outreach, and today I'd like to talk about one of my favorite items in our collection, this exquisite child's cape, which is made from an unexpected material, the fluff from the milkweed plant. Milkweed is a common name for plants in the genus Asclepius. They are so named for their latex, a milky substance that appears when the plant is damaged. Milkweed plants are notable as the exclusive host for monarch butterfly larva. The fluff or floss comes from their seed pods. These pods ripen and split open, and the seeds are blown by the wind to replant. For this cape, the milkweed fibers have been carefully gathered together, trimmed, and then layered in rows to create the exterior. The lining is made of buckram and the collar is lace. Julia Wells of Montpelier made this unusual cape for her niece, Loretta Riker. Julia was living in Montpelier at the time and Loretta was in New York City. It appears that the cape was originally made in the 1840s and then recut and re-sewn for Loretta in the 1880s. It's an amazing shape and is a very rare surviving example of something that was trendy in the 1830s and 1840s. Feather pelerines or capes of that time were part of the 19th century fascination with the exotic. Not surprisingly, rural women attempted to replicate them with less expensive and more accessible materials. This milkweed cape possibly represents that intent. It obviously was treasured by Loretta and her descendants since the fragile cape was carefully cared for. More importantly, the story was cherished and passed on to children and grandchildren. They in turn presented it to the Vermont Historical Society to share with our visitors. While the construction and use of milkweed floss for clothing in this manner is uncommon, it has had other uses over time. In World War II, its natural buoyancy led to its use in life jackets. And today, some companies are exploring its natural insulating properties to produce more sustainable and lightweight winter wear and comforters. Thanks for joining us today. Follow us online on social media or our website, vermonthistory.org.